Today's Mass Readings June 25, 2020 Thursday of the Twelfth Week in Ordinary Time First Reading A Reading from the Second Book of Kings 2 Kings Chapter 24 Verse 8 to 17 Jachin was 18 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned three months in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Neishtha, daughter of Elnathan of Jerusalem. He did evil in the sight of the Lord, just as his forebears had done. At that time the officials of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, attacked Jerusalem, and the city came under siege. Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, himself arrived at the city while his servants were besieging it. Then Jachin, king of Judah, together with his mother, his ministers, officers, and functionaries, surrendered to the king of Babylon, who, in the eighth year of his reign, took him captive. And he carried off all the treasures of the temple of the Lord and those of the palace, and broke up all the gold utensils that Solomon, king of Israel, had provided in the temple of the Lord, as the Lord had foretold. He deported all Jerusalem, all the officers and men of the army, ten thousand in number, and all the craftsmen and smiths. None were left among the people of the land except the poor. He deported Jachin to Babylon, and also led captive from Jerusalem to Babylon, the king's mother and wives, his functionaries, and the chief men of the land. The king of Babylon also led captive to Babylon, all seven thousand men of the army, and a thousand craftsmen and smiths, all of them trained soldiers. In place of Jachin, the king of Babylon appointed his uncle Mataniah king, and changed his name to Zedekiah, the word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm Psalms chapter 79 verse 1 b to 5, 8 and 9 let our response be, for the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. O God, the nations have come into your inheritance. They have defiled your holy temple. They have laid Jerusalem in ruins. They have given the corpses of your servants, as food to the birds of heaven, the flesh of your faithful ones to the beasts of the earth. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. They have poured out their blood like water, round about Jerusalem, and there is no one to bury them. We have become the reproach of our neighbors, the scorn and derision of those around us. O oh Lord, how long? Will you be angry forever? Will your jealousy burn like fire? For the glory of your name, O oh Lord, deliver us. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Help us, O God our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins, for your name's sake. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Gospel Reading A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Matthew chapter 7 verse 21 to 29 Jesus said to his disciples, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? Did we not drive out demons in your name? Did we not do mighty deeds in your name? Then I will declare to them solemnly, I never knew you. Depart from me, you evildoers. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them, will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house. But it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine, but does not act on them, will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed and was completely ruined. When Jesus finished these words, 
the crowds were astonished at his teaching. For he taught them as one having authority, and not as their scribes. The Gospel of the Lord. Before we proceed with the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Also, please hit the notification bell so you won't miss out when we release new videos. Feel free to share your comments, suggestions and reflections at the comments section down below. Thank you and God bless. Now, let's proceed with the video. The Reflection on Today's Gospel You see charismatic preachers who can rouse a whole congregation to wave their arms, pray with tongues and chant in ecstasy. That is a blessing, a gift of God that lifts us out of ourselves. But it is empty and false if our lives do not reflect the gospel, if we do not hear Jesus' words and act on them. The word of God is a constant of support and enlightenment in life. Jesus' wisdom is a rock of truth from which we can make decisions and commitments in life. To read slowly the Word of God in prayer each day is to place ourselves on that solid footing which will give us both insight and compassion in all we do in our lives. I may sometimes call Jesus, Lord. I remember His telling me that I am not a servant but a friend. I take care that my prayer doesn't become a matter of dutiful routine but it's time to be present with my companion. It may be difficult to know if I am doing the will of God but as I lay my life before God now, I am open to learning more of God's desire for me. I receive the strength to work with God to change what I need to.